Frank, tell me about these pictures on the wall. I had an aunt, my father's sister and favourite sibling, Lynn, who gave me a lot in the course of her life. She was into crafts and arts, not a great artist, but accomplished in her way. And when she died, uh, I went to a garage sale her daughters arranged at the village, and I bought several items, which have given me much pleasure. Uh, I bought this painting here. She, in her later life, she did lots and lots of oil paintings to sell at like craft shows and tourist shops, what I tend to call chocolate box pictures, but they're, they're fun and pleasant. But these pictures here, the bottom three go back, I say, to about the 1940s. The family had, and still recently had contact with, a farm called Newton's Farm at Hackness, Langdale and near Scarborough. So this is the landscape. You've got uh, Sugarloaf Hill, Broxer and the, the Yorkshire Dales, I suppose, here. And then a favourite place we used to go was down at the river near the farm. When it was raining, we sheltered under this bridge. And then other days when it was nicer, we'd be make, make bonfires and paddle in the river. And we used to go for long walks. I, re I remember, I was only about six at the time, went for a long walk up through this plantation and I managed to slip on a cow pat and got cow muck all the way up my leg. I was taken back to the farm and my grandmother washed me down. Later on, she painted some more pictures when they moved to Devon in 1955. This is the farm they bought, which stayed in the family for a, a generation. It, it, it was known as Mons Hall by then, but the original name was Mousel. Long thatch building, she made beautiful gardens, and it was an attractive farmhouse, I remember it well. I slept down here in the end bedroom every summer, and sometimes every weekend when I was a student. This painting, it's folded, but it's lovely. I remember this kind of farming. There's Uncle Phil on top. Uh, oh, that must be my Auntie Lynn driving the tractor, I think it is, yes. Here is my Uncle Ralph, who's still alive. Auntie Lynn's husband, Uncle Norman. I learnt to pitch bales, for pitchfork up in the air, and you pushed it right up in the air to get it high up on here to take it away to make haystacks or whatever. Uh, you can see the old-fashioned square bales. Well, that's don't even look like bales, not like this mess there. So Auntie Lynn... I was inspired by her. She taught me to make uh, things like patchwork quilts and things like that as well. She taught me how to do simple drawing and she taught me the beginnings of my interest in calligraphy.